All right, guys. So today is actually pretty exciting for me. Today we get to check out the brand new, not really sure when they're going to release, Skull Candy Crusher ANC 2. And the reason I'm not sure when they're going to release is if you actually follow the link to their website about these, it says web page not found. And there's no information on these yet. And I actually just walked into Walmart and stumbled on these. So the one on my packaging says Crusher ANC XT2. And if you guys are familiar with Walmart and some of the products that they have in their store pretty much their whole skull candy lineup has that xt in the model name and they even have this same kind of agreement with anchor or soundcore on their products but it's essentially the exact same thing as the one that's going to be released to the public which is going to retail for 229 dollars although the one in walmart is 199 dollars and i will put a link in the description to the one you can buy from walmart it actually has it where you can buy these now and so we're going to talk about everything to do with these headphones Although this video is kind of a first look, again, I haven't seen anything on these. Uh, we're going to talk about the headphones themselves, the sound, we're going to talk about what all comes inside the box, talk about a lot of the features, and see if it's worth the $229 or $199 price tag. So to start with, the packaging, once you get it open, what all you get inside the box is you do actually get a very nice hard case. Uh, inside the hard case, it has a three and a half millimeter cable if you just wanna use it wired. And it also comes with a USB-C cable. And this is what you would use to charge these. And speaking of the charging, battery life is actually very impressive, even if you're gonna use them with the noise canceling on or the noise canceling off, because with the noise canceling on, you can get around 50 hours on a single charge but with the noise canceling off you're going to get around 60 hours and I think that is very impressive uh, especially for a pair that has noise canceling where a lot of people that travel are going to use this type of headphone so being able to use the noise canceling pretty much for a whole trip and not having to worry about charging your headphones is kind of peace of mind it's just one less thing that you have to worry about now the headphones themselves to me feel much lighter uh, they went in a completely different direction uh, than the original ANC's and I think they actually kind of mixed the ANC and the Crusher Evo line and just, you know, kind of borrowed some things from each one and combined them into this headphone. Now, it is an all plastic build other than the fabric that they decided to go with on the headband, which I'm not a huge fan of this. I think it looks really good right out of the box, but this fabric is going to pick up everything and then over time i think it's going to show a lot of dirt it's just going to look nasty it does have the metal extenders inside so it does feel very firm there the headphones do fold inwards and they also swivel flat uh, and this is how you actually get them into the hard case and they have inputs and buttons on both sides of the headphone so on the left side that is where your usb-c input and your headphone jack input is located uh, it's also where your power button is located and one thing that is a huge difference between this pair and the previous ones is they've gone to using the wheel. They're using a scroll wheel instead of that little slider that they've had on previous versions. And I didn't think that I would like this at first, but it actually gives you more control than what that little slider gave you. So I actually really like this idea. And one thing I do want to say is when I first took these out of the box and I put them on and I connected them and I just started using them, I was actually very disappointed and that's because I didn't know out of the box it has the base intensity level at 20% and that has nothing to do with turning the wheel up and down. You actually push the wheel and it will go from 20% to 50% to 80%. So there's different intensity levels that you can use the base before even adjusting it with that scroll wheel. Now these do work with Skull Candy's Skull IQ app, and there is a lot that these are capable of. And that base going from 20 to 50 to 80%, you actually can control this within the app. But again, when I just started using them without connecting them to the app, it was a letdown the base that these had until I realized that that was a feature on these headphones. Now it has a very interesting interesting voice control feature. Now this isn't the normal one that you would have with Android or Apple, you know, there's specific ones. There is an actual skull candy voice command. So you can get it to do a lot of different things, including even take a picture from your phone. You can get it to open up Spotify. There are several things that you can do all within that feature. Now it does have a personalized EQ feature. Uh, you go through and you take kind of a hearing test, which is 
absolutely annoying. You're having to let it know that you can hear this beep through this really just awful sound. But once you go through the testing, uh, I was impressed with this feature with the Skull Candy Crusher Evo. I felt like it brought out the sound the way that I wanted it to, but I don't feel like it really represented a sound that I liked when I went through the test for the ANC 2s. I felt like it kind of muddied up the sound a little bit more. Uh, I just wasn't impressed, so I went back to turning that off and went into the app where you can customize the EQ settings the way that you want, and I found a setting that was absolutely perfect for me, and I'll show that here so you can see kind of how I had mine set up. I used this EQ setting and I went in and had the bass intensity level to 50% and then I just scrolled it, you know, kind of depending on what I'm listening to. It does kind of change, which we'll talk about that once we get to the sound. Uh, but some other things that you can do within the app is you can switch around some controls. Luckily, you do get control over everything once you decide how you want to use your controls. There is also a one touch Spotify feature, which you could just touch one button. It will automatically open up Spotify and just start playing your music. There are also sliders within the app to control the ANC and the transparency level. So you can control how much you want to block out, but you can also control how much you want to let in while using transparency. And we'll talk about this in a second as well. And you can also turn on a multi-point feature. So these headphones can connect to more than one device at a time. And that is a huge thing for people that, you know, want to always stay connected to their phone, but maybe want to use their headphones on their laptop or tablet. And you could just easily switch from one device to the other. So there is a lot that you can do within Skull Candy's app. And I was actually very impressed with the app. I think it has a really polished, clean look that fits the Skull Candy brand. So I was, again, very impressed here. But let's go ahead and talk about the noise canceling and the transparency because I really wasn't expecting noise canceling that's going to compete with the Sony or Bose. And when I first put these on and it immediately turned noise canceling on, it was at full max level. It is definitely comparable to the Sony or Bose. In fact, at the max level, it even kind of has that like vacuum feel that I usually get when I'm using the Bose headphones. So I was very impressed with the noise canceling. I did have to dial it at about 50% uh, to just kind of have it at a comfortable level for me. And the transparency mode is definitely a transparency mode that can make you very aware of your surroundings. Uh, you can easily carry on a conversation without having to take these off. Uh, and if you're gonna have your headphones on, you actually just have a little switch that will turn it from noise canceling to transparency mode without having to go into the app or do anything special. So there is a quick way to switch from one to the other. Uh, and I really like the way that they have set up these headphones. They're giving you a ton of features, some of which you do have to go within the app, but most of them you have control over on the headphones themselves. Now let's just go ahead and jump right into the sound. The sound on these, like I said, out of the box, I was not impressed. I felt like it just lacked that really, you know, vibration type bass that these have because they're relying on haptic feedback. Uh, there's little motors inside that are moving. So it's not like bass in other headphones, bass where you can kind of feel bass and hear bass. These are kind of like all feeling bass. And so I am going to say if you're an audio purist or somebody that's just looking for something that's reference or closer to flat or true style bass, obviously that's not what these are. And I don't know why you would be looking at these from a brand called Skull Candy uh, if you're looking for that type of bass anyway. This headphone is made to just be fun, made to just, you know, listen to your music loud get the most out of it when it comes to bass. This is like for people who like having subwoofers in their car. Although I don't have a subwoofer in my car, I do like that over-exaggerated bass as long as it doesn't destroy everything else. And this is kind of the evolution of the Crusher lineup. When the Skull Crushers first came out, that was the wired set that had the battery inside. That was just pretty much all bass. You weren't really getting a lot out of the mids and the treble. Uh, it was just all bass, all subwoofer type bass, and then that was it. And then they went to the Crushers, and then they went to the Crusher Wireless, Crusher Evo, Crusher ANC 360. They, they have gone through several different headphones in this lineup and it is constantly improving. I was very impressed with the Evos uh, and I think with the new ANC2, they just stepped it up huge when it comes to sound quality because the mids and the treble are actually 
fantastic in these. I mean, they can get very bright. In fact, the tuning that I showed you uh, is treble that is very, very bright. I'm not going to say it's like a harsh type treble. It never really got to that point. But the fact that it can get as bright as it can and really feel like it kind of levels out with that really overextended bass, to me, is very impressive. And the same thing with the mids. No matter what genre that I was switching between, Vocalist always stood out. It never felt like it was pushed back because of everything else that was going on. And that is a huge feat for these headphones. Now, when it comes to the sound stage and the sound imaging, do not expect these to be a very open sounding headphone. It's not. I mean, it really does make you feel like you're in a medium sized room. Uh, it is made to have that club type effect where it just seems like you're right in front of a PA or two large speakers. So it's not, you know, made to sound very wide. But I didn't have any issue with being able to tell where sounds were coming from. And I absolutely love switching between all of the music that I'm used to hearing. You're just feeling it in a different way that you don't normally get with other headphones and especially don't get with earbuds. Now I am going to say once you're switching between genres, you will find yourself kind of adjusting that wheel a little bit because if you go into pop or hip hop, the bass is going to seem way more aggressive than when you're in a genre like metal. So, you know, I would find myself turning it up a little bit when I would get into rock or metal and then I would dial it back down when I'm in genres like pop in hip hop. But if I'm going to grade these based off different genres, if you mainly listen to pop or hip hop, this is easily a 10. It just sounds fantastic for those genres. Uh, when it comes to rock and metal, especially things that just get a little bit chaotic, that bass can seem to come in a little too strong at times. So I would give it a nine here because it's still absolutely fun to listen to, especially if you're listening to metal that has the double bass of the drums, being able to just feel that while hearing guitar riffs uh, and being able to hear vocalists even on top of that, it's just an experience you don't get with normal headphones. But with easy listening, which obviously is not a genre that's made for these type of headphones, I would dial it back to a six here. Uh, and that's because you're pretty much taking what these headphones are and just pulling it out. I mean, you're just dialing that dial all the way down because you don't want bass Usually in those type of genres, you just want to focus on vocalists or you just want to focus on strings and different kind of instruments that aren't geared towards bass. Now, I'm not saying that it doesn't sound great on those genres, but these headphones really aren't made for that. Uh, but if you're going to use these for media, so if you're going to use these for gaming or watching movies, explosions sound incredible and everything else coming in as clean and as bright as it does makes these excellent for media. So I would give these a nine and my overall rating is going to be a nine. This is just a fun headphone. This isn't going to be something you would compare to Sennheiser's or Bayer Dynamics or anything that's on, you know, like studio grade level. That's not what these are intended for. These are aimed at main consumers that just like that low end, just like to listen to music for fun. And, and I love to just do that where I'm not being picky about, you know, oh, I don't, I didn't hear this, or I think this peaked here, or I think it overextends here. I just want to throw on some headphones, have some fun, and listen to music. And the Skull Candy Crusher ANC 2s absolutely nailed this. So, guys, that wraps up my first look video on the Skull Candy Crusher ANC 2. Thank you so much for checking out this video. Thank you so much for checking out all the other videos. And as always, make sure to stay tuned for more.